great, in fact, to Minister Jitendra Singh, who's joining us live this morning. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations to you. Congratulations, congratulations to the scientists at ISTRO and to all of us for this successful test mission. Your first thoughts, sir? I think, I think it's uh, the first successful step in the last leg of the journey towards the launch of Gaganyaan. Because now we have, with this successful test flight, entered into a very critical phase. Now this will be followed by a series of other test flights. Like, for example, this one was meant to test the crew module, how safely it can be brought back into the waters, into the Bay of Bengal, and the astronauts who've gone up can be rescued. Because sending up an astronaut is as important as also getting him back safe and sound. Now we will have a series of test flights uh, related to different functions and the level of their performance. Finally, then, of course, their bigger test flight, uh, full-fledged rehearsal kind of a thing. Then the just before the actual launch, we'll have a robo flight and the actual one by 2025. So we have actually entered the last leg of the journey towards the launch of uh, Gagarin. So, you know, what were your apprehensions? Given that the challenges are going to be just so different and just so many at the end of the day, we will be sending humans to space, sir. Yeah, I think uh, the capability of the Indian uh, uh, space uh, technologies is uh, not only at par with the rest of the world, but it has, in fact, excelled them, having begun our journey uh, far much later compared to the then Soviet Union and the USA. We are now in a position to give them leads and offer them cues. Like, for example, Chandrayaan is one of the biggest evidences of that, having landed in the virgin area of South Pole. Mm -hmm. The evidences and the inputs gathered by us are being very eagerly awaited by the other countries to be shared. So, so is the case with the uh, Gaganyan. And that too, uh, living up to the spirit of Prime Minister Modi says, Atma Nirbhar Bharat. This is going to be a totally an indigenous uh, uh, mission from not bolt up to the astronaut, though we had Rakesh Sharma was going into space, but the mission was Soviet mission. Yes, so yes. this is also a reiteration of uh, the Prime Minister Modi's uh, vision of centralized Atu Nirbhar and also excelling the rest of the world. Well, absolutely, sir. Once again, uh, I, I want to get a sense from you. How many more test missions should we expect, you know, in the next few weeks and months to come? Yeah, see, te technically yes. speaking, today there was a TVD1. Okay. Uh, that is called Test Vehicle Development 1. Then we we'll, may have a TVD2. Actually, the, the, the follow-up depends on the uh, level of the uh, results obtained from the earlier mm -hmm. mission. So uh, one thing leads to the other. So we may have a series of TVD2, D3, D4, like that. And uh, then finally, when, the, when the, the operators are satisfied enough about the functioning of the various components, uh, like today was the crew module, uh, performance being evaluated. Then we go in for a full-fledged uh, uh, flight, which would not carry a human being as such, but mm -hmm. which would make, make the same kind of activity, the same kind of eternity as the actual Gaganyan. And just before Gaganyan, maybe four, three months before that, we would have a uh, robo uh, mimicking all the activity and performance. And incidentally, this is going to be a female robo called Vyomitra. Right. So I also want to ask you, what is the timeline that you're looking at, essentially, for the final Gaganyaan mission, when we actually have humans going to space? And what more details can you tell us about these people who's getting trained for it? If there's any information that you are in a position to share with us, sir. You see, as you would have realized, there are certainly important people that I do these missions. Now, we actually had a very ambitious design of putting this up in the 75th year of independence in 2022, but we missed the target because of the COVID and our astronauts were undergoing training in the Gregory uh, Institute in Moscow when they had to be called back, the lockdown happened. Okay. So now, now as I said, one uh, trial uh, decides and determines the timing of the next one. So if we go on as we have any right. for us as successfully as we have done today, I think it should be around 2025. Okay, 2025. All right, that's the time that we're looking at. I'm going to thank you, sir. Jitendra Singh, Minister, joining us with his views on that big story that we're tracking.